We're looking at what happens inside a Cook County inmate transport bus. Focus your eyes on the inmate highlighted here, how he easily wiggles out of that chain. The inmates then get out and fight each other, and when they're hurt, you pay the bill. For months, CBS 2's Suzanne Lemonio has been documenting just how often these attacks happen. Some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing. We spent more than eight months sifting through video like this. Disturbing images of Cook County Jail inmates using what are called blue box restraints as weapons. The restraints have a waist chain with a lock and handcuffs attached to it. Watch as this inmate gets help from another inmate who pushes the waist chain down twice. This inmate tries to help another pull his hand out of a cuff. This one tries to get out of it on his own. They're swung repeatedly, leaving victims bloodied and barely able to stand. Several sources tell us this takes place at least once a month. We've obtained seven incident reports detailing how it all happens inside of these buses. The passengers? Some of our most violent offenders. The cost to taxpayers? Medical bills and lawsuits. Even the sheriff couldn't provide us with a total. We've learned since our investigation the most violent inmates with a history of getting out of their restraints are being transported separately instead of on the buses. Suzanne Lemigno. CBS 2 News. Suzanne also reports the Cook County Sheriff's Office says on extremely rare occasions, detainees do manage to defeat the restraints. Staff members are regularly trained on how to apply the restraints properly and complete random restraint checks. The manufacturer of the blue box restraint did not respond to our request for comment on the story.